Hi friends, it's Jennifer Herndon at jenniferherndon.com. Today we are going to talk about how to connect your Facebook business page with your Facebook profile. And what I mean by that is how do we get people who are visiting our Facebook profile page to click on and go over to our Facebook business page. The way to do that is to add your business page here where it says add where you work. Now you may already have something in there that's not connected to your business page or you may have, if you have an outside job, you may have an employer in there. What you want to add right here where you work is you want to put a link to your Facebook page so that when somebody clicks on that they are taken to your Facebook page and given an opportunity to like it, to comment, to connect with you there because a lot of people are going to start out by looking at your profile page and a lot of them in the business world are going to look down here and want to be able to click on over to your business page or your fan page as they used to call it. So we're going to talk about how to do that today. It should be really easy but sometimes it's not and so I'm going to show you I've had um, several people say to me I've tried to do this and it's not working for me. I have no idea why it doesn't work but I know that sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to show you a way to fix that today. Now I have taken, um, just for this demo, I have taken mine out so I can show you how to do it from the very beginning. Let's go over first um, the easy way to do it in case you're not aware of how to do this. The easy way to do it would be either to click on About here, or you could click on here Update Info, either one, or since I don't have anything where it says Work, I can click right here and um, where it says Add Where You Work, and it'll take me into the edit mode of my profile page. And look right here, where have you worked? Easy enough. Now what should happen here is I should start being able to type the name of my Facebook page and it should come up and there it does. That's my page. Um, it's my name and I'm listed as a business person. So I click on that, it puts it in there and there. I'm, I'm connected now. You see it? It comes up and shows my page and then all I would have to do is I can add in the position whatever I want there and click on add job I'll just skip that for now and it will add that We'll put done editing and we will go back over to my Facebook profile page and you can see what oh, you can see what it says works at Jennifer Herndon and when we click on there what happens it goes over to my Facebook page it takes people straight to my page, which is exactly what I want to happen. But, okay, if you did that and that works for you, congratulations, great, you're done. You don't, you can turn off the video. <laughs> um, if for some reason that did not work for you, then let's, um, sorry, we'll go back here to, yeah, to my, um, keep both windows open for you. We'll go back here to my personal profile. and I will show you the more difficult way to do things that for some reason Facebook uh, makes you jump through it sometime. Okay, here we're back here at um, where we've added where I work and we're gonna go ahead and take that out so I can show you the other way to do it. Go ahead and remove that. Now let's say that you try typing that in and it does not work. It does not bring up your page. It does not connect. Here's what you're going to do. You are going to um, first make sure that you either are using Chrome or Firefox as your browser. Now you don't have to use, once you've installed this, you, you, once you've made this work, you don't have to continue to use Chrome or Firefox, but in order to install it and get it to work right, you need to be working in one of those. So make sure you have one of those downloaded. If you don't have either one, download Chrome. It's going to be a better browser, um, all-purpose browser. So I'm going to show you in Chrome and first thing you're going to do, I will put the link um, down below this video to this, you're going to go over to the web store at chrome.google.com and you're going to add web developer to Chrome. There will be a blue button here that will say add to Chrome. You'll click on this and when it's, it's finished installing it, it will turn green and it will say added to Chrome like mine does. What you will see up here, up here in the right hand corner then, is this little wheel that shows that that is in fact web developer being installed. So that's your first step is to get that installed. 
your second step is you're going to need the numbers, the page ID of your Facebook page. Now most of you probably have a vanity name for your Facebook page. As you can see up here in my address bar, I'm Evergreen Success is the name of this Facebook page of mine. So I don't have page ID numbers. No worries. We are going to go over here to our admin panel and click on manage and click on edit page. And what that's going to do then, as you can see back up here in your address bar, that's going to bring up your page ID numbers. And what you want to do is copy them and paste them. Or I'm sorry, just copy them for now because you're going to want to paste them later. So get those, um, get that ID number right there saved for what we're going to do in a minute here. Now, if you have not switched to a vanity URL on your Facebook page, one, you should do so, and two, um, those numbers will be in there when you immediately, the first minute that you go to your Facebook page, you'll see those numbers. You won't have to take that extra step. Okay, so we've got those numbers. Let's hop on over to our personal profile page where I do not have my work information added at this time. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down here to Life Event. Right above where your status bar is, it says what's on your mind. We're going to click on Life Event, and it brings up Work and Education. We're going to click on that, and we're going to click on New Job. And then it'll bring up this form for you to um, enter your job, which is going to be, in this instance, your Facebook page. Now, there are several different places where you can edit to add um, a job or add work information. This here is the only place I have found that this works with web developers. So I recommend that you do it just like I'm showing you to do it. Once you've got that up, we're going to go back over here to the button I showed you that was web developer. Click on that button and it will bring up a tab that says forms, display form details. We're going to go over here and click on display form details and now don't have a heart attack on me here because I don't know anything about what any of this means. So you don't need to either. Don't even worry about it. The only thing that you want to worry about is coming back over here. This is that same page we were on that shows when we started a job. You're going to come back over here to this employer box and you see it will have a zero in here. Back that zero out and paste in those numbers that you just grabbed from your Facebook page. Once you've pasted in those numbers, just do that. Don't do anything else for right now. Paste in those numbers and scroll down to where you see the blue bar that says save and click on save. And after you have done that, then go back here so you can be done being confused. Go back here and unclick display form details. The same way you clicked it, go back and unclick. And then let's go up here to our information section and see what we've got. We have got, oh, I'm sorry, we've got to, um, first thing we have to do is refresh the page. And once we've refreshed the page, we will see works at Jennifer Herndon. It has added my business page. And you can see here that if we clicked on that, it would take um, the whoever's viewing my profile over to my business page, which is exactly what I want it to do. Now there's one more thing we can do though. I, I have my business page as my name. Some of you might not. You might have, you know, um, do social media right as the name of your business. And you don't want people to think you work there. You want people to understand that you are your business. So there's one more thing we're going to do to change that works at um, that we didn't do in, in when we added the life event because for some reason it doesn't save it. Again, it's Facebook. I don't know why. But click on about right below there. And you'll see again, we'll be back at this section where we've got me added in there. We're going to click on edit and go down here and edit that job that we've entered. And here we can put the position. Um, CEO is, is a good thing to be. I'm the CEO of my company. Um, whatever you want to be, you can be, you know, chief creative officer. Chief, oh, whoops, I'm not in Senegal. You can be, um, make up some nice, um, catchy and unique title if you want to is a great idea. I haven't done that. Um, and add in your location if you want, your description. The main thing I want you to add in is your position here so that it doesn't look like you're working somewhere. And then come down here and show when you started that business. 
and then click on Save Changes and Done Editing. And you'll see it's added down here that I'm a CEO and I've been in this business from 1997 to present. So let's one more time go back to our profile and you can see instead of saying works at Jennifer Herndon, it says CEO at Jennifer Herndon. So don't I look much more impressive now? At least people can tell that I am an entrepreneur, that this is my business and that probably is going to if they don't know anything about you at all, probably give them even more of a reason to click on here and you will just make sure it works. Click on there to make sure it works and we'll see when we click on there that it has successfully added it to um, to go straight to my page. So that's all there is to it. It obviously sounds a little bit harder than it is. It's actually a very simple thing to do. If um, you have any problems with it, please make sure and let me know. I also did a blog post on this. I put an article on my blog that walks you and shows you step by step through this if you want to print that out or if that's an easier way to do it for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.